Hi, my name is Angela Slaughter, and today we'll be setting up a locks box. This CD contains the software. And the first step is to place the CD into the drive and to power the machine off. And then we start it back up. First step, I want to install the I and enter. And yes, I'm sure, the Y and enter. And then again, it'll tell you that all the data will be overwritten, and the answer is yes. Enter. The next prompt is no current configuration available. At this point, this is where I want to create the floppy. Put an F for floppy and enter. Now it's going to ask what keyboard type. And my keyboard type is US. I'll hit enter in that. And now it would like the IP address for this machine. Now it wants the net mask for this machine. And it has an option here, and I'm going to accept that with enter. Now it would like the gateway IP address. Now it wants the name server for this machine. Now it wants the host name for this machine without the domain. Now it wants the domain name for this machine. Now it's the mail hub for this machine. Now it wants a email address. Should this email get daily system mail? No. This is the WebMN UI access submits, and I'm going to accept that range. Now I need to create a password for the administrator. And re enter the password. Should the locks team be able to log in via SSH? Yes. Should the locks team have root access via sudo? Yes. We will not be doing any additional configuration today. Is this OK to test this network configuration? Yes. Let's insert a blank write-enabled floppy into the drive. I'm pressing Enter. Now it's asking me to write lock the floppy. So I'm removing the floppy, write locking, replacing, enter. Now it's asking me to write enable the floppy. I'm going to remove it. Write enable, replace, and enter. Now it's asking me to choose a new root password. You won't actually see the password, but it will be it will take it. Test me to write lock the floppy. Remove, write lock, replace, enter. At this point you'll get a message about where you can access the administration module online, and you'll use the password that you chose to do so. At this point, the locks box is up and running.